So the last video I uploaded um, was about using these, you know, using your stencils as stencils, you know, woohoo! <laughs> Something new and different. Uh, but I, um, for some reason, that video only uploaded halfway. You know, it failed to completely upload. And I failed to notice that failure until someone pointed out you know, hey, it just kind of cut off and you didn't say the end. And I was like, what? <laughs> I always say the end. I'm really compulsive about saying the end. So yeah, went back and looked and sure enough, y'all got robbed out of about eight minutes of my really awkward babbling. And we just can't have that. That will not stand. <laughs> So I'm uploading that eight minutes for you so that um, you can get some closure uh, for a technique that is, you know, we did this in kindergarten, but I know sometimes you still need to see it. We need to see it. I totally get it. So yeah, this is the rest of that. Thank goodness I had not yet deleted the, the raw footage because I don't keep it anymore. Um, but this, this is for those of you who were left hanging. I had already stenciled it down and then I just laid the stencil over what I'd already stenciled down with paint and then traced around and then, you know, found that and did that and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that whole thing. So, okay, now we'll get around to showing you. Uh, choose an image and I think I will choose, let's do one of these birds because they're easy. And choose some pepper. And pick one of these I haven't used yet. And I think that bird needs to have music notes on it. So pick a spot. Just go ahead and do yourself a favor and tape down your stencil. It doesn't have to be taped down really good, but I just use two pieces of either masking tape or washi tape or just something you know has a chance of peeling off without destroying your paper. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it has no chance. Let me get some better tape. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna use, this is artist tape, which is basically masking tape. It usually peels off really clean. Okay. So I'm doing this little bird right there. Like so. I kind of want the notes in his belly. So I'm going to put that there and that there just to keep it from sliding around too much. I'm going to take my pen. We'll just use this Micron. Oh, that's an 01. That wasn't what I meant to grab. Okay. We'll use this one's an 03, this graphic liner. And then we just trace. And I don't worry about getting it perfect. You know, just kind of more or less. Sometimes the pen slips. And yeah, whatever. Just go with it. Okay, that's it. Then you peel your stencil off. And there we have our little birdie. Now I'm going to cut it out. And I'm just going to go just barely outside the edge of the bird. Like, oops. Like so. I'm trying to hold it up so you can see. I guess it would make more sense if I just zoomed in so I didn't have to hold the paper up. 
that I feel committed now to just keep going with this. I really don't like fussy cutting and I'm not good at it and it hurts my hand and I can't see and all those other excuses for why I just don't it's not my favorite I know some people just love to just sit in front of the TV and fussy cut and they enjoy that and I just really want to send them all of my stuff to cut out for me <laughs> so that they can have that joy and then I can have my cutout stuff without having to do it. <laughs> okay, this didn't need any exacto knife work because, you know, it was easy to cut out. Now I'm going to take this piece of scrap paper and... I'm going to show you how I go around the edge. You can use the Sharpie or whatever. I've got this. I can't even know what this is. It says touch. It says um, Shin Han Art International. And then it's got a bunch of Japanese stuff on the back. Oh, it's made in Korea. I'm sorry. Korean stuff on the back. Um, I probably, I don't know, did I get it at Jet Pens? I, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a decent pen. It's not even black. It's cool gray. Um, and it has this broad tip. And then it has the finer one. So I'm just going to use the broad tip and go around my little birdie. <laughs> Can't tell if I need my glasses on or off for it. It's like right in between. Okay, I'm going to get bifocals someday, I swear. I know I need them. I just don't want to pay for them. All right, I think I'm kind of sort of getting it. Yeah. You, you can probably do this a lot neater, but fortunately, I mean, it doesn't really have to be super neat. Okay, what did I do? Oh, I completely missed the edge over here and over here. Okay, that's decent, I think, as far as my old lady eyes can see. And then this little part down here, I'm just going to take my finer tip and just kind of go around the edge like that. Now, I have a lovely little birdie that I can stick down somewhere and do something with. I can continue to add, you know, details to them if I want. <laughs> or, oh gosh, where is it? There it is. I can just stick a giant eyeball on him and call it done. <laughs> yeah, anyway. That is all there is to it. And then you get all of these fabulously, you know, either painted or printed um, embellishment pieces that you can use. And it doesn't take a lot of uh, effort. It doesn't take a lot of time. You probably have what you need to make these already on hand. So, um, yeah, just, just don't forget to sometimes, you know, use your stuff in the most basic way possible. Use your stencil as a stencil. And, um, yeah, we forget about keeping it simple, and we just try to make stuff more and more difficult. But going back to the basics, back to the simple stuff, is um, can get you some really cool, cool ideas and things that are kind of new and different, but not really, you know? Okay, that's all I've got right now, y'all. The end.